ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Patsy's Your Skin of Free Play Friday. Yes, we're playing the free-to-play games that are available on the PlayStation Network, and the newest one that's actually popped up in front of us is Adventure Pop. It seems to be a story, well, not seems to be, I played a good bit of this. It's a story-based kind of uh, action game based around Poyo Pop, the, like, the good old Buster, Buster Bobble kind of like pointing up, shooting bubbles, matching three, and then destroying them. Uh, I, I think, what was it? Probably Bust a, Bust a Move on the original PlayStation would be probably the first time I really got into these games. But they've been around for so long. It's like just a like good old traditional puzzle game type where the roof encroaches down closer towards you as more bubbles get attached and you have to stop it from crossing a certain line. Now, obviously, this is free to play and you think that gameplay doesn't really fit into a free to play element, but it really does. It really works for it. Wow! They over like load on their levels of audio. Woo! Like, that was too much for me even here, just in the room. I don't know what it would have been like for you guys, actually, on the stream. So, uh, yeah. Adventure Pop. You've got choices of Adventure Mode versus Mode and Options. Uh, options, obviously as simple as hell. Now, this is, again, another game on the PlayStation Network, which really appears to have been a mobile game, and just converted to be played on consoles. So, uh, I can't get too annoyed at it. The fact that it has the versus mode, for online PvP and local versus, without actually making you need anything to complete the game. I mean, you can just play this game for fun and enjoy it on that alone. But the adventure mode is obviously where the main content is. It's called Adventure Pop, so this is where they want you to be. Okay, so Adventure Pop has... I've played about 14 levels of it so far, and it's not difficult uh, in terms of gameplay, because you, you we've all played games like this before, but the biggest problem that I have is that whenever you get to the point of like the boss fights that I'm playing here, but level 14, it really, really starts to make you need to buy items from the store. And that is... Uh, that, that is, of course, where they're going to make their money on this game. But it feels like the game itself is intentionally um, trying to rake you over the coals and make sure that this is absolutely necessary. The so things like for progress, it and, and special attacks, being able to actually survive certain certain predicaments if you miss a single shot. It really, really irks me because all your special abilities are only covered by purchase of in-game items and there's no way to actually make the value for those otherwise. So you're literally looking at this most of the time, debating whether or not you want to play for it to make it past that level. I know it doesn't complete it for you, it just makes it easier. So let's just jump into a level here. What's going on there? It's going to be a bit delayed whenever it's moving. So yeah, of course, the characters are all... It's like, you're introduced to Penelope and Max. Penelope is the main character that you play as. Max is her kind of like protege and some kid that was actually kind of like sitting on her airship. The whole the whole thing has like an aesthetic of kind of like a, a steampunk fantasy in a world where you're actually flying around in airships and there's actually airship battles being represented by the cannonballs that you're shooting back and forth. Makes sense. Let's take a look here and just see if I can run through a quick level and just show you what the gameplay is like. So, uh, oh. Boom. So as you can see, you can bounce it off the wall. Oh, you can bounce it off the walls and capture the things that you want to capture. Oopa. There we go. That worked perfectly fine. It's really weird to be playing this. Before. I'm actually playing this from a farther distance than I normally would because I've got my screen separated further away from myself. And it means that I'm actually kind of like... Uh, oh, does that going to work? Boom. Oh, that was really close. Um... It means that I kind of have to judge the angle a little bit differently because of the way the screen's sitting. So I might actually play a lot worse than this than I normally would. I'm gonna have to go for the easy shot here. Oh god. Ah! I'm like trying to make these trick shots. Ah! God damn it.
as you can see, whenever you complete a level, or you fail to complete a level, you end up actually getting told that you get five extra bubbles, so that would be five extra shots to actually compete by paying real money gems, which is a bit harsh, I mean, essentially, like, I mean, gameplay shouldn't actually be based around the fact of, like, buy, buy for an or chance, buy for an or chance, which is, um, well, what was the game that actually was very similar to this? I mean, I suppose, what, Candy Crush has the same kind of effect, where you actually, like, buy for the extra opportunity to maybe make it the next, in the next five, if you knew you could have done it in the next five, which is really, really, I mean, it, it's probably the harshest kind of, like, gameplay you have to go against, because you're not just working against limited resources, but you're working against limited resources, limited time for the amount of uh, the way that the level moves down on you, it's it, do, it doesn't float my boat. The game style has always floated my boat. I've always loved Buster Move. I've always liked Bubble Bobble. I've already like, there's a not Poyo Pop, a Poyo Poyo. Is it Poyo Poyo? That was actually the other game type was. I was actually playing the same way, or is that the Jelly Bean one that actually is Poyo Pop? Uh, either way, but the um. The game, the, this game style, I massively enjoy, but this is but this pulls me really, really out of the enjoyment factor. So, um, adventure, time, adventure pop. If you've got, uh, if you if you want to sit and play and you want to practice your uh, puzzling uh, balloon shooting gameplay, it's not bad. It works perfectly fine in versus mode. You can actually play against your friends and sit in the house and have competitive games of this anytime you want. If you play through the story, you unlock more characters, obviously. So, um, you only have Penelope and Max to play with at the beginning, and each one of them have their own particular um, skills and stats to play with. But, if you want to actually play um, the adventure mode, you've got the possibility of being trapped behind paywalls for content, really, which is not fair on the user. But, again, this is, a, this is, a, this is quintessential of a lot of problems that PlayStation are having with their uh, content delivering on the PlayStation Network. There seems to be a lot of, like, early access, unfinished games, and a lot of mobile platform conversions showing up in the store really one after another, and I think it's because they're opening, the, not the floodgates, but they're like opening the doors to uh, smaller and third-party developers. I looked into how people actually sign up to the PlayStation Network for de um, develop, uh, development access, and I'm one of those things where I might do a video about that in the future. If you guys would be really interested in hearing about that, actually find out how, how somebody actually would go about getting their game onto the PlayStation Network and how games like this are making it onto the network, then uh, throw a comment underneath the video and throw a like and share this video around and I will uh, probably do that as one of a, as a future editorial that I'm actually been planning to do on here on the channel. But uh, if you like what I've heard and what I, what I had to say about the Venture Pop, you can hit the subscribe button as it pops up, up right over there. And over on this side, there's videos to other videos I've done on the channel, other playlists, other stuff. You can just see it all over on this side. Feel free to hit on any of those and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye.